Um, so what I'll do is I'll just share my screen and I'll show you what the Herdwatch app uh, looks like once you have your herd downloaded. So if you're already um, if you've already created your account and it's coming up that you've zero animals in herd, we'll just talk you through how to get your tag numbers, their ages, their breeds, and all that downloaded from the department. So to do so, we just link up with your ag food, which I presume a lot of you would be using or have access to um, in some in some form. Uh, and it just, just brings down all that herd information down onto the app. So um, I'll just share my screen with you now. Okay, so this is what the Herdwatch app looks like when you have your herd downloaded. So you can see there um, the number of animals in herd. So that's coming straight down from the department. And if I click into that, should there we go we'll just skip the tour for now <clears throat> so when i click into it it'll have all, all the debris all the sorry the tag numbers um the year they were born so it's born 16 the abbreviated tag number there um and the breed so if i can click into it then uh, just taking a second it'll pull down even more information for me okay so what we want to do is to get all this information brought down we want to firstly link up with the department um through your ag food as i was saying so to do that what we do is we go to our ag food account so you'll be well used to seeing this page if you have it set up um it's just once you log in and from here we'll just go into animal identification and movements once we're into that just taking a, a second here to, to load up we'll just press continue Okay, so once you're in animal identification and movements, you'll see down the very bottom of the list here, there is a space where you can interact with AIM using farm software provider. So you just wanna click on that. Um, and if you're not linked with a provider, it's gonna bring you through to a whole list of different providers that are here. Somewhere there in the middle, you'll just see this one that is Herdwatch. So to select it, there's just gonna be a box on the left, like this one, you can tick. Uh, and then you'll add, click add software provider. So once you click that, it'll bring you through onto um, basically just, just kind of reading through the terms and conditions, just allowing yourselves uh, access to, to your herd information. And from there, if you just put in your email and reconfirm it, that will all go through. So once it's gone through, you can give the app back. You can go back to the app. You can give it five or 10 minutes. And once you have that done, um, uh, as I said, look, after five or 10 minutes, when you click onto the app the next time, it's gonna come up here and it'll just have the number of animals in herd and you can obviously from there click into it. Um, so there's just a few questions there as regards linking up. Um, so if you are already connected to or linked to a software provider, so if you were in the past using a different provider that wasn't ourselves, this is what you're going to see, okay? So all you want to do is you want to tick this and hit end date software provider. So once you end date the old provider, um, give it 24 hours, it basically has to go past 12 o'clock. Once you do that and you go on the next day, you're gonna see the full list of software providers in front of you and you can just tick the box for, for whichever one you want. Um, so obviously that's, that, that's getting over that. I'm just trying to answer a few more of these questions here. So, uh, okay, will linking up with a software, software provider prevent me or stop me from using ag food? So it's not gonna stop you at all. You'll still have full access to your ag food. All it's going to do is just give you another means of entering that or getting to that information. So you can sync with Herbotch, try out the free trial for a while, we can get all that sorted. And if at the end, for one reason or another, you decide it's not gonna be for you, you're still well able to access Ag Food, do your registrations, your movements, all through that. Um, if you want Herdwatch to become your software provider, there is just uh, an area on Ag Food, I'll show you now, you basically just have to tick. So if you wanted to be your software provider, you just go to the herd section up at the very top, uh, you can go to Bovine Electronic Herd Register. Once you click on that, 
um, and fill out your email and confirm that you want to do it. So it's not done on this herd. So um, basically confirm that you want to do it. That will give you, that will mean that you're going to use your software provider as your herd register. So there's no need to be um, logging into Ag Food to print off your herd register. You'll be able to get the whole lot of it here in your in your report section, whether it be for department or board B inspections. And then just the last question there, just to run through them all um, for, for the moment. So um, what if I have more than one herd number? So if you have more than one herd number, we can add multiple herd numbers onto your account. Um, and basically all that will happen is you'll just go through the same process again, tick it for the other herd number that will be on your ag food. And from here, you can just go to your settings if you have one done and you can switch herds. So you can switch back and forth between two different herd numbers there if, if you have multiple herd numbers um, or multiple, multiple different herds or even if you were, say, managing a farm for someone else, you, you can obviously add that to your own account. Um, so this is all doable through the free um, the free app. So you can just download the app, get all this done yourself. It'll bring all the herd information in. As I said, if you need a hand getting it done, you can always just give us a shout, um, either drop us a message or you can call us on 0505 Um We'd be more than happy to help, help you out getting it all linked up. I suppose the easiest thing to be to do would be either log, be logged into Ag Food or have the details to hand and we can we can get that sorted for you. Um, 